Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. I'll be talking about Cowboy Ninja Viking in a minute, but first, I shot a bunch of these videos in early July. I'm still, those are still going up now. But uh, I've been using that time to read some longer things, some books that I wasn't sure that I would want to keep and thus do videos on, and one of those was Joe Casey and Tom Scioli's Godland series. I thought I honestly had the entire series. I have two of the hardcovers. There are actually three, and I did not enjoy it enough to spend the money to get the her third hardcover, so I am letting this go. It is extremely Kirby-esque as... Eric Larson points out in his intro to the first um, volume. It's just, it's modernized Jack Kirby. It's it's interesting. It's sometimes fun, but it's also <laughs> somewhat tedious. There's, a, there's one story arc that involves these three characters, and it just takes so long to get anywhere. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I think volume one was better than volume two, if that means anything, but... Still, I'm not going to wind up getting volume three, ultimately. So, Cowboy Ninja Viking. I bought this years ago. I started reading it. I honestly had a hard time getting into it. I stopped reading it. I never finished it. And Berg actually commented, I think, around the time, because Chris Pratt was attached to the movie at one point. The, uh, it was optioned for a movie. I'm going to guess because I haven't heard any news in a number of years that that's not happening anymore. But uh, at one point there was supposed to be a movie adaptation of this. And I think at that point Berg commented that he really enjoyed it. And I'm like, hmm, really? That book? And I made a mental note of to return to it someday. And I've done that now. And I also enjoyed it. I don't know what my problem was the first time. But it is... It's... Let's just talk about it, all right? So there's this guy here. His name is Duncan. And the, he is a triplet, codenamed triplet. There's a, there's a government sort of, um, yeah, there's a government agency. They've created these people, these agents called triplets, and they suffer from multiple personality dis disorder, and each of those personalities has been trained to kill. So Duncan here has a cowboy, a ninja, and a viking in his head. It manifests in what I think is a pretty interesting way as far as comics go. There's a lot of sequences like this where he's essentially talking to himself. All these word balloons are themed so you know who's talking. And it's not just Duncan, it's the other triplets as well because he's not the only one. I enjoyed this. It's a kind of, it's not quite spy, but it's sort of that thriller genre, and I I enjoyed it. I also, it is Rossmo on art. I have become a fan of Rossmo. It, I believe it was Rasputin, where I became a fan of his. Uh, I did a video on Rebel Blood at some point. So this was 2010, this was 2010. 12 Rasputin was 2014 which is where I took note of him and I think I went backwards I don't remember the order that I bought Rebel Blood and Rasputin and at some point I went further back and I got Cowboy Ninja Viking so I flipped through this momentarily you can see some of his art here uh, I think it's sketchier it's I mean certainly looser than the stuff he's producing now and I did bring out this Sandman just as a comparison because this is the most recent stuff I am curious to see and he does still use tones it's just things are things are still in his style I would say they're just much cleaner and I don't know I wonder how much of that is maybe I'm not going to say a DC demand, but maybe he's adjusting his style to fit in better with DC. He's been over there for a number of years. He is going to be working with Danny Warren Johnson. I'm very excited for this at the time of this recording because this is July. Uh, that book isn't out yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it to see what he uh, unleashes when he's doing creator around. I'm super interested to see what... Uh, happens there 
But Cowboy Ninja Viking, move those off to the side. So it is a five issue series. They do seem oversized, weirdly. I spell Rosmo's name wrong here in the credits. It's unfortunate. And it, it does say in multiple places, volume one, I, I have to imagine this was intended to continue. It does end in a way where it could easily continue, but what the story that had been started is wrapped up sufficiently. So I don't entirely know. I wasn't following this at the time that it was coming out. I'm not even sure I was, I would have been reading comics, but oh, it, it's, it's enjoyable. It's fun. There's, I think one issue where things, and it's, it's, I'm going to say issue three. It's right in the middle. I tend to have problems in the middle of miniseries where things just sort of stagnate. And this, I'm going to say, suffers from that a bit. But it's still a heck of a lot of fun. It is... It's ridiculous. But it's also just fun. It is that thriller aspect. There's lots of action. There's, there's one scene. I think it's early on. There's a... There's a plane that's hovering. There's a jet... I'll say, um, one of those vertical takeoff jets that's just hovering in an alleyway and two people are outside having a conversation and I'm like, no, no, they're not. That thing is putting out an insane amount of noise. You're definitely not having a conversation outside of that plane. Otherwise, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say that's the one nitpick I have in this. Otherwise, it's just, it's great. It's a lot of fun. And I'm going to make one... Weird reference. I'm going to make one connection here. While I was reading this, I was thinking of DC's The Losers, which was was adapted into a movie. But uh, it's it's in that um, you know sort of a misfit group thrown together and uh, getting shit done. It's I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It was just one issue where it I felt like stagnated a bit otherwise it's great and uh, I'm definitely glad that I gave this a second read because I, I <laughs> feel like there was something wrong with me the first time that I, I didn't enjoy this the first time but it is great I do recommend it